Welcome to Techie Chat. Today's episode is going to be a super fast episode because I am installing FreeBSD 14.0 on my Lenovo Carbon Generation 3. First things first, select USB hard drive, flash memory, and away we go. I'm now be booting from the FreeBSD USB stick. Going to press enter to boot the installer. Away it goes. It's now booting the installer off the USB stick. So this install will be pretty quick and as you can see it's happening real time live on this laptop. So I've clicked continue and I'm now going to select the language. Uh, there we go United Kingdom. Okay I'm not going to bother testing the keyboard map because I know it's correct. Let's give this laptop a host name TC free of BSD should be fine and stick with the defaults standard ZFS file system and we are going to continue with the installation and we're going to select the hard drive there are we sure we want to destroy the current contents of the following disk yes we are okay I can breathe now a little bit um, because this is uh, now going off to uh, install and that this will be the thing that takes a, a little more time if only a few minutes as you can see. So the reason why I wanted to do this video was really to show how quickly FreeBSD can be got up and running on a laptop and I wanted to show uh, this being done on an actual laptop not just in a VM but actually on an actual machine uh, physic a physical machine or tin as they like to call it in the industry so yeah I wanted to show how, how it was done on, on the laptop here as you can see there's the laptop now the uh, focus has changed just setting a password there for root okay hopefully my camera focuses yep okay uh, we are now setting the uh, IP address which is DHCP on my test network here. Hopefully it's going to get an IP address and it looks like it has. Don't have uh, IPv6 on my test network. Okay, uh, even though I'm in the United Kingdom I will be going down to uh, United, uh, it's going through Europe to get to United Kingdom and um, in terms of services that I'd like started at boot I will choose PowerD because uh, it's a slightly newer system and I also like to clear the temporary files on reboot alright so we're going to now set up the uh, user so there's uh, my TechieChap username yep and, uh, help if I spelt it correctly I'm trying to uh, trying to type without my sausage fingers uh, showing on the screen there. All right, uh, as normal with FreeBSD, we have to add the standard user to wheel, video and operator for things to work on the desktop. We choose all the defaults here and uh, we're not gonna use a random password. And now I'm just gonna set a simple password Although if you're doing this on your production system, I advise obviously setting a uh, more complex password there. Uh, we're not going to set up a, another user. Okay, and we're going to apply that configuration. And we don't need to exit to shell, so we're just going to reboot. And away it goes. See, the install is running so quickly that I am uh, starting to run out of breath. <laughs> okay, ThinkPad is rebooting. Fingers crossed, everything has installed correctly. Uh, there we go, FreeBSD. That's the screen you want to see. I've pressed Enter to quickly uh, boot the system. Okay, that's looking good. We have an IP address off the test network. 
and there we are I'll just log in there that's FreeBSD 14 uh, installed on a laptop in possibly uh, just under five minutes so there we go and probably could have done it quicker if you've enjoyed this video and you'd like to see more uh, then please click on like and subscribe and I look forward to seeing you next time thanks for watching